tutorial on basic weave and backwards weave. So this is a pretty um, beginner mini smooth, and it's a good one to start out with. So um, we'll get started. Essentially, a weave is well, they're called it's called a chase weave because um, one of your hoops is kind of following the other in of like figure eight weave. So to get started with this, um, we want to start with both of our palms facing up and the hoops resting on our palms, just like this, and um, elbows in towards your ribs. So we we'll start like this, and we're going to take our right arm and kind of lower this a little bit and bring it around in a big circle around here. It's kind of hinging at the shoulder and into like a rather large like one-handed weave. And at this point, you're going to have um, your right hand, your grip is on the outside, and on your left, your grip is still facing up, just like this. And what you want to imagine is that your right hand is kind of knocking this left hand out, and then the left hand is going to start leading this weave. So it knocks it, and then it's going to kind of come over like this. So you'll see that my arms start to cross. And now my right arm is over on the left side of my body, and my left arm is over on the right. And you see my grips are like this. And at this point, I'm going to pivot and turn towards the uh, right side of my body, and my arms are going to kind of come this way. So now you are over on the right side of your body, your right arm is still kind of chasing this left one. And what's going to happen here is that you are going to unhook your arms. So it's kind of like this on the side here. And you're going to open up. And now we're back to where we started, where our right arm is making this big loop over, going into a weave, knocking this one, and then coming over. So you can just do this really slowly and get used to it. And think about your arms as crossing, turning, and uncrossing. Then crossing, turning, and uncrossing. Just like this. And if it helps you, think about your hoops in that they are um, chasing each other. So like I said, you start with our right one, it comes over and hits this one, and now your hoops are like chasing each other in their weave. So as you um, practice that slowly, and really make sure you are getting that um, uncrossing, I mean that crossing and uncrossing, um, like this, and you're going to be pivoting your hips. So once you get more comfortable with this, you can then loosen up a bit and allow your arms to do a little bit more work than your body and to let the hoops rest on your four fingers. So definitely feel free to exaggerate this and use big arms. And what you notice when you do this is that on the uncrossing, your arms are long and extended. And then when they come in, they're nice and tight. So you can kind of figure out if getting this down correctly by really going big with your arms. And then you can also vary this by, you know, keeping it really tight in here, and then going big, just like this. So now that I've gotten more comfortable with this, I just have the uh, hoops resting on my four fingers and they're just doing this for you. So, um, the only prerequisite for this really is that you are comfortable doing weaves, a forward weave here and a backwards weave here, or forward weave here. Really just be comfortable doing one-handed weaves, and then you should have not too much of a problem picking this up. Particularly if you're just grabbing onto these hoops with the death grip and just kind of like going slowly until you learn and can just kind of loosen up with it. 
So now we're going to go into reverse weaves. Um, and I honestly think that it is much easier to learn your reverse weave straight out of learning your forward weave. So here I'm doing my forward weave. And what you notice is that on either side, I'm going to go like this just to give you guys a little view. So you'll notice that when you're turning on either side, you reach a point where you're kind of, um, where you've kind of either crossed here, we'll go back this way, where you're kind of like this point where you're kind of crossing them and you turn. And um, over on this side too, where you're kind of, where you're out like this. And those are the places where you can learn to stall and then go in reverse. So um, the way that I like to teach this is we're going to start with our forward weave that we've gotten pretty comfortable with. And once we come over to our left side, and we're going to start continuing this weave just after the point where your right hand um, knocks the left one out, you reach this kind of cross point. And at this point, you would generally come over to your right side, but instead what we're going to do is stall and go the opposite direction. So I'll do this slowly and then I'll um, explain more thoroughly. So we're doing our weave. We're going to come over to our left side and stall. So our hands are just going to kind of clash together like this. And then we're going to go into a reverse weave. So you're going to probably find that your reverse weave is a little more awkward. But what I like to think of it as is doing my forward weave and then just kind of doing it backwards of what I had just done. So it feels a little awkward. You're going to be doing a backwards weave with your right arm. And then this one's going to be also be going backwards this way. So definitely get comfortable with that first. So anyway, we have our forwards weave, our stall, and then we uncross and think about this left hand bumping the right, so we're just basically completely undoing what we had done before. So we have our cross, and then instead of the right hand bumping the left, the left is going to bump the right, and it's going to come into its reverse weave. This one is two. We're going to turn over to the right side. We reach our like awkward little stance over here. And then at this point, our arms are crossed on this side, and my right hand is going to come back over to the left, like this. And again, we can use big arms to kind of exaggerate and figure out what we're doing. And again, there's our uncrossing and our crossing. Notice, notice that this is on the opposite side as it was last time. So now instead of uncrossing and coming over to the left, we're going to be uncrossing and turning over to our right. And you can stall this again this way, and then just come back into your forward weave. So you can stall on either side, even just this way, doing one weave. You can do some stall here. All right, and eventually you can get into doing your three beat and doing all kinds of things with this. It's a lovely, lovely move. So maybe that will come next week. I don't know. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that and are mastering your weave now. So good luck. Happy good thing.